Hello and welcome to another technical analysis tutorial about the Elliott wave method. Today I want to talk about the ABC correction, which is the second part of this Elliott wave tutorial. In the first part, we talked about the impulsive wave structure, a five part wave structure, we covered that here, one, two, three, four, five. Basically, just as a short repeater, um, you've got these waves 1, 3 and 5, which are impulsive in the trend direction and waves 2 and 4 are corrective, moving against the trend. And that can go in an uptrend that can also work in a downtrend the same way. Now, you have, first of all, the impulsive pattern, which is the five part wave structure I just showed you. and in the Elliott wave method, the second main pattern that you get is a three part corrective wave pattern. So in a corrective wave pattern, you've got three waves. You've got an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. Within this pattern, within this corrective wave pattern, you also have waves which are impulsive and you've got waves which are corrective. In this corrective pattern, yeah, as a whole, ABC, you have waves A and waves B, which are impulsive. They move in the direction of the trend. And you've got a wave B, which is corrective, which is correcting the preceding wave A. So basically what you do have is these rules here. Yeah, so you've got the ABC pattern and certain rules. You remember in the five part wave structure, the impulsive wave structure, there were also certain rules. And we've got similar rules here for ABC. So first of all, a corrective wave pattern ABC runs against the higher level trend. Yeah. Corrective wave patterns are three wave structures, as I said, and generally consist of waves A, B and C, and they run against the higher level trend. Waves A and C are impulsive, which I just talked about, of the corrective move and drive the market against the higher level trend direction. The wave B corrects the preceding wave A and it has the potential to move above the beginning of wave A. And exactly this last point makes it so difficult to trade corrective waves. Yeah. So because you don't know, because that wave B can overshoot wave A, this makes it extremely difficult sometimes to identify um, corrective moves. And it also makes it very difficult to set stop losses, for example, because it could happen that the beginning of that wave A is actually, well, that this is the beginning of the downtrend. And if you realize what that means, it would mean that the wave B here, so you actually have a beginning downtrend, but that wave B here, which is actually just correcting wave A, can actually go higher than the beginning of wave A which means going above the previous high. From there on, we can then move lower than the end of wave A in a wave C. And this makes it extremely difficult to, yeah, as I said, trade corrective moves. Now you can also get this the other way around. So where this um, corrective wave actually moves to the downside here, you can also have it the other way around. So when you have the trend actually going down. So you've got this one, two, three, four, five move, which I showed you in the beginning. You've got that going down. The general higher level trend is going down. Then this corrective wave pattern here, A, B, C, um, is moving against the higher level trend to the upside, where then you have a wave A going up, a wave B that is correcting the preceding wave A to the downside and the wave C that will be higher. So this was basically the second um, step of the Elliott wave tutorial, talking about the, com um, the corrective wave structure ABC. In the first one, we covered the impulsive wave structure one, two, three, four, five. In this one, we covered the corrective wave structure ABC. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how the impulsive wave structure and the corrective wave structure are working together and how you then get these one, two, three, four, five ABC moves. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know any questions in the comments and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.